Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, how about yesterday, basically? But, um, and that's kind of the opposite of the separate maintenance question that you ask, where so many people want to just ease into that, or, it, you know, the finality of it's scary, but yet it's probably something that needs to be done. But with regards to um, just the standard waiting periods in Oklahoma, we have, as I understand it, at one point in time I'd heard we're the second easiest state in the nation to get a divorce in. I don't necessarily know where that came from, but the point being is there are not, are not a lot of obstacles to a divorce in Oklahoma. Uh, we see on TV all the time private eyes are being hired to investigate a spouse or something like that, and, and typically you see that in cases which have uh, longer waiting periods for divorce unless you can prove some sort of infidelity or other uh, behavior that's that's undermined the marital relationship and so we really do have a, a situation where the divorce process particularly if there's settlement agreements can be very expeditious about 10 days basically on a waiting period just without minor children and 90 days with the minor children as a practical matter if the case is going to be a litig litigated case the docket's are so crowded here in Cleveland County in particular, Oklahoma as well, that um, I usually tell people a better part of six months is to be expected on a, a wait to get your case actually to trial. And in fact, some of them linger for the better part of a year. There is such a potential long time during the pendency of these cases, then it's best for parties in this situation have, have such a strained relationship to be able to have some rules to go by. And so we are, in most cases, that particularly those involving minor children, we do go to court seeking a temporary order that's going to govern them during the pendency of their, of their divorce. And what the temporary order will do is set forth provisions for temporary division of property and debt, who gets the house, who gets the car, who's going to pay Visa, who's going to pay MasterCard, this type of thing. Uh, the temporary support alimony potentially is, is, is often uh, litigated in temporary order proceedings. And just to make sure both parties can stay afloat during that time. And then obviously the issues of custody, support, and visitation, all temporary. Uh, are dealt with uh, during the pendency of, of the case as well at the temporary order phase. Uh, certain cases that have significant uh, issues at the very onset of them where uh, one party or the other would face irreparable harm can be dealt with on an emergency basis. Literally call a lawyer, uh, get in there, there's irreparable harm potentially to the, to the finances of the marriage, to the children, and you can just march across the street to the courthouse and potentially get an emergency order that will stop that even enlist the assistance of law enforcement to do that until such time as we can get back into court uh, within 10 days as required by statute uh, to get a better handle on, on those issues.